2021 is now here. Now what? What reason am I walking into 2021? And I pray that you be blessed in a very powerful way in uh, this upcoming year. But one of my prayer is that we as believers become more conditioned toward the fact that this is not our home and that we are preparing for a home with the Lord forever. I believe that should be our greatest gain and understanding in coming into 2021. Because I believe even the world and the people of the world, they realize that through everything that we have gone through in 2020, that something great is about to happen. They don't understand it. They don't even know if it's destructive or it is a great thing that is coming to the world in the near future. But we as believers, as followers of Christ, as followers of His Word and students of the words of Jesus Christ, we recognize that Jesus said that we can uh, uh, know the season that we are living in by simply as one would stand back and look at the clouds and realize that rain is coming their way because of the darkening, the reddening of the clouds. There is an expectation of rain coming soon. Well, dearly beloved, when we look at the seasons that we have been living through, we look back at 2021, we recognize the despair, we recognize the heartlessness of many things, we recognize the vanity of man at an extreme level, the pompousness of uh, man, the division between minds and thoughts, and even seemingly in the body of Christ. Beloved, we then have to look up for the word says in these divisive times that our redemption is drawing near. Because we cross over the threshold of one year into the other, uh, we know that the coming of the Lord is closer by one year than it was last year. So, beloved, I believe that needs to be a preparation in our heart, in our mind, to prepare ourselves for the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. And the Word of God says, for to, for to me to live is Christ, and to die is gain. Paul said, when I'm living, I'm living for Christ. My goal is to live for Christ. But if I am to gain, I am going to find that in death. So he is saying and writing, for to me to live, I'm in Christ. I'm walking in Christ. I'm living in Christ. And to die would be gain. Because now I would be with Christ. Glory be to the living God. Dearly beloved, is that not our deepest desire? Is to be with Christ one day? Do we want to continue to hang on to this world because of what this world can give us or do for us? Any satisfaction, beloved, we get from this world is temporal. And we found that out in 2020. With everything that had transpired and took place, and demand for us to make changes. And many people were not even able to make those kind of changes because of, of their own uh, fulfilling of their desire. They couldn't even live in that kind of demand that certain things they had to do in order to live safely in 2020. 
and still in 2021. But beloved, when we are following Christ and we are followers of Christ, that means, beloved, that we are followers of God the Father. That means that we are prepping ourselves for the home that has been uh, uh, um, created or developed by the Lord Jesus Christ when he told the disciples, I go to prepare a place for you. So, beloved, for us to live is Christ, but for us to die is gain into uh, the kingdom of the living God with our Lord and our Savior. So, beloved, our desire should be a longing for home. Home is not here, but a home is with our Lord Jesus Christ in the new Jerusalem. Glory be to the living God. Beloved, may the Lord bless you in the beginning of this year. May you walk in it. May you be prosperous in it. May you be blessed in it and give glory and honor to him who gives all blessings. Be blessed in Jesus' name.